Um, hi guys, so today I'm going for the Clamshell Nebula. Um, it is a very wide nebula near the North America Nebula, so in the Cygnus constellation. Um, I'm going to use the Avoguide, of course. It's perfect for that kind of stuff. And the 405cc, as you can see, it's very hot. Um, my face looks a bit more reddish than it is. It's not that red, <laughs> because there is weird lighting in here. And I'm going to use the cooled camera and uh, narrow band filter. And I will show you, of course, always the way uh, that I do with live stacking and shark and stuff. And please make sure to like my videos, subscribe and share my videos. It helps me a lot with the algorithm. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to start the polar alignment. Just going to rotate to one side and to the other I remove the narrow band filter before doing this it's easier then I install it after again okay we have a bit of right a of actually And I'm turning the knobs left and right and up or down to basically get it as close as possible to, to excellent. That's what you want. Oh, that's it. Excellent. won't be with this white field setup it doesn't have to be um, perfect so don't sweat it too much if it's if it's a little bit off that's okay but as it is it's uh, very good actually <laughs> okay so I got rough uh, focus and I'm gonna align on Vega and Corner for us. These are the best two stars I can align with at the moment. I will recheck focus when I align. I think this is Vega here. Because the the focus are of the override. It's not, it's not uh, that good. It uh, with when you when you um, uh, how do I say it? I'll focus. I'll change target. You will lose focus. I think this is very good, but I need to be sure. And I need to focus a bit because it's not plate solving. I'm turning the focus a bit so. I'm at least decently focused and as you can see yes this is Vega and now I need to make sure yeah that I turn in the right direction because I didn't and the clamshell nebula I need to find the correct orientation because since it's a, it is a big target I need to frame it correctly or it won't fit All right. 
right, just to make sure. I know that's Vega, but I need to make sure. Yes, okay. Go to the second star. The star is near seeing it at the moment. I'm pretty sure that's the one. But pretty sure it's not good. You need to make sure. So always check. Because all stars will look the same. Yes, that's the one. All stars will look the same in the telescope, so you won't know for sure. Okay, alignment done. And now I'm gonna go to the clamshell nebula. Okay, so the clamshell nebula is not actually in the catalog, so we have to go by coordinates. I have searched the coordinates on Google, and these are the coordinates. Sorry, not these, these are different ones. I, I have saved them here. I'm gonna press load. These are the coordinates of the clamshell nebula. Then I'm gonna press go to. Because sometimes some targets that are the faint ones, they won't show up in the catalog of the uh, SIN scan. So we have to search by coordinates. And there should be a, a bright star at the center because there's a star named. 68 Cygni I think it's I can search it here 68 Cygni Yes, sorry, this is the one If I, if I center the star, I should be on target I think this is 68 Agni. Yeah, I think that's the one. This number decreases by a lot, yes, then yes, this is 68 Agni. And since it's, we are with narrow band, the image is very dark, so it's having a heck of a time plate solving. Yes, that's the one, okay. Well, this is this is 68 Agni, this star in the center. So I'm gonna center it a bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna connect my guiding and see if it will guide well before I start. Should be, because the sky is clear. Should be calibrated as well, because I didn't change anything from like my last session. And these settings, these settings worked well for me last time I used it. You, you need to tweak these if the seeing is bad. So, on my setup, they worked well. Alright, it's guiding fine. 0 0.2 RMS error. So, we're good. I'm gonna wait for the camera to go down. Sorry. I'm gonna wait for the camera 
to go down in temperature. I'm getting it down to about 10 degrees or so. I avoid getting it down lower during the summer because uh, it will be frosting up. And I'm gonna use darks that I made yesterday. They should work fine because I'm using the same, the same temperature. Connect the mount so I can dither. I'm gonna dither every three frames. They worked for me yesterday, so I'm gonna do that again. And this is the other way at the moment. It's pointing somewhere up there. Of the guide scope, everything connected and everything balanced. And I have the dew heater as well from his Viboni. Okay, the first sub is in. There's the clamshell nebula here. Uh, you can see the outlines of it, it's pretty faint. Uh, this is a 120 second exposure, and you can see how faint it is. Gonna give you a bit more contrast. I'm getting really good guiding. 0 0.6 RMS seller. Apologies for the sound, listen. My neighbor's dog. And I lower the aggressiveness. So the guiding is as smooth as possible, no sawtooth patterns. And yes, I know I have some dust spots here, but I can clean those up. Um, with healing brushes. I don't really f feel like f fighting with my fl flat frames with the 294, it's a struggle every day. And I will let it running for a while, so the image will develop, and then we will see uh, more details. Okay, I'm about five hours in now. Um, I had to do some modifications to my guiding, because um, the seeing got a bit bad, and it was rejecting frames. And this is pretty insane, 0 0.15 RMS error now, I'm getting. This with the settings I used, because I increased the aggressiveness and I lessened the exposure and increased the gain, so it would um, adjust more frequently. And this working much better now. Mm, still reject the frame, yeah. And this is the clamshell nebula at the moment. On exterior, it looks like this. Stretched. So, I'm rejecting a bit of frames now because um, the scene got bad, but you know. Can be can be all good. <laughs> Sometimes it goes in against you. But all in all it's good, you know. I got five hours exposure I did. Um uh, to be honest expect I'm getting this much. It's pretty cool, I never saw this nebula so far. Like, like this, it's very big yeah, the, considering the upgrade has a very wide field of view, and this field almost fills all the field of view. It's very, very big. This now, yeah. All right, that's it. I'm gonna stop the live stack. Um, we got 357 minutes exposure. 
is the final stack and um, we lost a few subs I lost 30 minutes worth of subs um, due to to haze and seeing and uh, there was a slight you know but it's normal uh, but on all well, we got really good data um, uh, we got about six hours exposure and uh, we'll see how, how fun it will be to stretch this uh, this nebula I'm gonna check what what data there is real quick in the in the serial just to check what data there is gonna do a really good a really quick background extraction all right with the data that is I'm told that this nebula is really 10 hours or more because it's very very faint but you know 6 hours is good we're starting with 6 hours <laughs> 